part two of how the instrument landing system works. The next component is the glide slope. The glide slope is an electronic course like the localizer, except that it's projected vertically at an angle from an antenna that's placed near the approach end of the runway. The glide slope is much narrower than the localizer course, usually around 1.4 degrees. It's projected up at an angle. Typical glide slope angle is 3 degrees, but it varies from ILS to ILS. The glide slope signal provides vertical course guidance to the pilot, letting them know if the airplane is above the glide slope, below the glide slope, or right on it. You don't need to tune in the glide slope separately. If you're already tuned in and receiving the localizer, if you have the equipment to receive the glide slope, you'll already be receiving it. Course guidance is provided by this horizontal needle in the CDI here, and it's red just like for the localizer. If the needle is centered like this, the airplane is on glide slope. If the airplane is above the glide slope, the needle will be deflected down, indicating to the pilot that the glide slope lies below them and they'll have to increase their rate of descent to get back on the glide slope. And if the airplane is below the glide slope, the needle will be deflected upward, showing that the glide slope is above you. And in this case, the pilot would need to decrease the rate of descent in order to re-intercept the glide slope from below. If you're very far above the glide slope, it's possible to receive a false glide slope signal that could provide faulty information. And for this reason, the glide slope is normally approached from below. The glide slope will typically be intercepted somewhere around 1,500 feet above ground level while following the localizer course, and then followed down to the decision altitude, typically about 200 feet above the runway, at which point the pilot must either have the runway in sight and be able to make a visual landing or fly a missed approach. The glide slope is normally usable out to about 10 nautical miles. The precise vertical guidance that it provides is what makes the ILS a precision approach. And keep in mind that like the localizer, the glide slope course gets narrower and narrower the closer you get to the antenna, so any given CDI deflection requires smaller and smaller corrections the closer in you get.